Happy second Sunday of Lent. I hope that your Lent is going well. If you've struggled, if you haven't been true to what you said you do to Lent, I just want to take this moment to encourage you to, to keep trying. Keep trying. And that's, that's really the point of Lent, is to just get back up and try again. Now, as far as this gospel reading goes, I'm not really going to dive into it too much. Uh, I, I think I dove into it a little bit uh, last year. Uh, so if you look for Second Sunday of the Lent, uh, March 4th, 2023, uh, you'll, find, you'll find kind of the, the more in-depth dive into there. I'm just going to go ahead and dive right into what God is speaking into my heart. The thing that stood out to me the most is... This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. The reason this stands out to me is just, I feel that God is speaking that to me as well. And it's something that I often don't think about and something that I've been thinking about more. I may have mentioned this before, but every night I remind my son that he is a prince of our heavenly King Jesus in heaven, that God has promised us an inheritance that we will share in his glory Essentially telling him he is a beloved son, not just to me, but but to God as well. And as I've been thinking about that more, I think about how often I forget that. And I ask myself, and maybe ask you this question as well, how often do we live our lives in that truth? Do we really live out that truth that you are a beloved son of God, beloved daughter of God? And if we did truly live that out, what does that look like? For me, it's it's recently just been really growing in a lot of trust amidst the stress, amidst the turmoil, amidst everything going on. I have to find comfort in knowing that I am a beloved son of our Heavenly Father. And then I think the last thing that stands out to me is where it says, lifting up their eyes, they, lifting up their eyes, they saw no one but only Jesus. And it brings to mind this image of when we do fail, when we do fall, who is always there ready to pick us up? You know, I imagine myself much like these disciples and just falling down and Jesus is ready to, to help us up. You know, you look up and Jesus has his hand extended, ready to, to, to help you up. And I think going back to what I was saying about Lent, if your Lent's not going well, if you've failed on your Lenten promises, get back up. Jesus is there. He's, he's ready to, to help you up. And, and that's all we need, right? That's all we need. If you look up and all you see is Jesus, you have everything that you need. What more could you want? What more do you need? So as I go into this Sunday, as I go in through Lent, continue through Lent, see no one else but Jesus, only Jesus, and seek him out all the more. And most importantly, remind yourself constantly, you are a beloved son, you are a beloved daughter. And God knows everything you need, everything you want, and, and he will be there for you. He loves us, and as simple as that, he loves us. I'll leave it there. If you have any thoughts, any comments, anything you want to share, uh, go ahead and drop those in the comments below. And as usual, if you enjoy these, go ahead and give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when these go out. Uh, during Lent, they do go out every Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern, only on YouTube. Usually, it'll also go out on Instagram, but I'm fasting from social media right now so you won't see it there just youtube so this is the only place to get them lastly if you think this bless you and you think it will bless someone else go ahead and share this video with them and on that note have a good and blessed second sunday of lent have a wonderful weekend thank you for watching god bless